All right, yeah, it's gonna work. So switch over to his channel, beginning from this morning, and then we're gonna, you can continue this and we'll ask questions and everything over there. All right, and my... Link is at the beginning. Yeah. Let's see, let's see if it works. Give her up. You wanna do this? Yeah, just gotta yank that thing out. Hey, we got some people coming over. Yeah. <laughs> We could do this channel in Spanish. What can we? Are you are you good enough in Spanish? Uh, <laughs> no. uh, yo, yo me amo Scott. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, mm, That's all you got. Yeah. Not as frío as yesterday. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it, it wasn't as bad. It was it was a little warmer yesterday. Man, I was freezing. So. Today was cold, but it seemed like yesterday was worse. I think it was windier. Yes. So. Gigi brought out her Spanish. She says, hola, hombres. Oh, hola. <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah, we were just continuing on there. Yeah, we got 78 people made it over, so hopefully yeah. the rest of them will come over, too. We were only, like, 200, I think, right around 200. Yeah. yeah. No, no bunny suit, unfortunately. Yeah. We, we just got, you know what? Maybe if we, yeah, if, we, if you get 500 on here, we can do the bunny suit. How's wow. <laughs> Okay, we're at 88. So. <laughs> uh, so questions, if you ask any questions, type them in all caps and Kelly will try to read them. Um, oh, Michelle's going to read them? I'm sorry. I forgot we have Michelle. Okay, Gigi, ask como esta ustedes. Yeah, good. Yeah. You want to answer her? Muy bien, gracias. It's, it's a beautiful day today, so... <laughs> Not as cold as yesterday. A little more frustrating with the bolts, but Dennis it was... wants to know if you lost your razor, Scott. <laughs> Did you lose your oh, razor? <laughs> yeah, I, I'll shave a little bit. You don't have to. <laughs> That's just dirt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's grease. <laughs> we had a ton of dirt falling off that bus oh, today. Oh man, the back was bad. Yeah, there was a lot of rust coming down. So. Uh, they want to know what weight oil. Is on the rear axle? Uh, 140. Yep, 140. Oh, Scott, Scott's asking if there's been any Hey Juan moments today or <laughs> Oh yeah, Juan! Oh yeah, Juan. <laughs> um, there was a no, few, maybe so maybe the drain pan, the, oh, uh, yeah, maybe that was a the good sensor. Start. Yeah. Just at the very beginning. We knew that, we knew the shocks were going to be hard. Just when you even looked at them, it was, it was more rust. You couldn't than see metal. threads. Right. It was just... Yep. So, we 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 were prepared to fight. So, and and it was it was it was a good fight. We want to know where you're going next. Where's your next stop? Um, I think in this area. I, I think Coolidge. I think is where we're going to be. I think. You have one possible Chandler. One possible Chandler, and then Coolidge, depending on what my schedule, where I go. We didn't promise anybody. Yeah. So. Juan, they want to know if we're going to put a Trailways logo or branding on the bus. Well, it's kind of funny. When we got it painted, if you look up right there, if you see the scallop, that's in honor of the Trailways scallop that they had, that blue scallop at the top. So right there. <laughs> so that's that's what we put on there kind of in, um, kind of in honor of... Uh, of trailways so it was a trailsways bus and so in honor of trailway we, we we did do a little scallop at the top where did you break all the bolts oh man mostly off of the the shock there's a plate that holds the shock up inside a channel and almost all of those bolts had to be broken yeah <laughs> so um I was going to say, uh, the first one I broke off in their drain pan of the transmission, and then, yep. and then, yeah, the shock mount, once the shock comes apart, there's more bolts that have to come out to get it off of the mount. And we broke a couple of those. Yeah. And then, I don't think we broke, oh, and then the bump stops were just rusted away where you couldn't even see that it used to be a bolt. Yeah, it looked like a little just rusted nub of metal, so. We want to know if you have to have a special light driv driver's license drive our bus. Our, it's titled as an RV and so there's no special um, anything required to, uh, to to drive a bus in Arizona. So yeah, so no, nothing. Once it's an RV, it's exempt from everything. Yep. Yeah, even though it has air brakes yeah. and 
all that stuff. Yeah. Um, they want to know if the fitting between the Jake brake valves is leaking oil. Um, not anymore. Yeah, the, the seal was still in there, thankfully. Yeah. Um, so there's a little rubber seal and it was still in there, so, yep. Um, do you use bolt head heat coils on bolts to loosen them if they're in danger of snapping? No. We used an oxyacetylene torch today many times, and it, and it helped us out a lot on some of them. Yeah, it But did some of them worked. still broke, too. Yep. Yeah. Um, do you disconnect the governor when you start a Detroit that's been sitting? Um, I mean, you can. Uh, it doesn't, it's, it's a smart thing to do, but we usually just put vice grips on the rack and then make sure there's an air flapper. That's the easiest thing. They want to know what all the solar power is running. No, currently it's running Scott's bus. <laughs> <laughs> so he's actually using our bus as a, as a little power station. So we've got I've a been cord. plugged in all week. Yeah, we've got a little cord coming over, and it's been doing really well. We had one cloudy day where we we went from 60 to I think 80 percent, and then the next day was sunny and it went all the way to 100. And today we're at a, we're sitting at 100 right now. So they, they run not too much. They run TV and some lights and I think an air fryer. Air fryer and the microwave. And microwave. Yeah. Um, so not a bunch of loads. So they, it's been doing really but well. But we ran the air compressor. Yep. has been running off that. Yep. The Dremel. The, yep. yeah, all that stuff. The block yep. heaters. The block heaters. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So we've been running. We've our been water using heater. Our bit. water heater has been oh, running off your solar. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So. Um, Dennis, who I think just bought a 4106. Mm -hmm. um, is asking if it's a good idea to replace the bump stops because his are also completely gone. Yes, it's a good idea, especially if your airbags leak down because then it, it goes down way too far and that's bad on the bags too. Um, but yeah, they're, they're nice to have on there. Um, David wants to know how fast the bus will go up Sunset Point, which you know where that is, huh? Mm -hmm. Like up on the 17, I'm assuming yeah. he's talking about. We haven't I, taken it, so we, uh, we'll let we you know, know when we go up there. <laughs> Probably <laughs> not very fast. Yeah, I have to assume it's a big steep grade. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's a big long grade. Really long yep. grade. Mm -hmm. um, You'll go as fast as your temperature allows you. Right. Yep. <laughs> and we found out when we pulled it open that we have the little injectors. Yeah. So we go less fast than everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's yep. got N60s in it. Yep. Yeah. What part of Indiana are you staying in? They're in Noblesville? Oh, yeah, we, we have a home in Avon, so not too far from Noblesville, 30 minutes maybe. Will you get all of the work done on this trip? I guess it's on our On bus? this bus? Yeah, yeah this bus will get done. Yeah. And will we get to, will your viewers get to go on a test drive of the bus when we're done? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Especially if they stop by. <laughs> yeah, a bunch of them stop by. Yeah. Did you end up replacing the drums? Yes. Well, we haven't yet, but we've ordered new ones. Well, They're all, all yeah. of them. Yep, all of them. Okay, besides a stuck injector, what's the most common cause of a runaway? Uh, well, on a Detroit, it's usually a stuck injector, but something fueling the, so like a blower seals that went bad or a turbo seal that went bad where the oil could be ingested and burned as a fuel. Oh. But usually it's, it's fuel injectors on Detroit's. I guess maybe this is for you, Juan. What inverter and charger do we have? Uh, we have a Victron 5000 VA inverter charger and a Victron 25085 solar controller. So, okay. Is that what I got today? You no, got a 15085. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you're not as. We run. Really yeah. high voltage. Yes. So I ordered mine though today, <laughs> and my batteries will be here tomorrow. It did hurt a little bit. You it did, did hurt. Kind of, I heard a little. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty dollars, six hundred dollars. <laughs> right. There's quite a difference. <laughs> this one's better. Is it five hundred and eighty dollars better? We'll find out. Well, it already is because the other one cost me a thousand dollars in batteries. Right. Yep. Yep. Um, okay. Would it be wise to do the mechanical before the conversion? We didn't have a choice. <laughs> so. it, it's all going to get done. So what does it make a difference? So yeah, that he did the stuff that he could do, which was the other stuff. And then we got here to the other. He knew it was, it was good, solid bus. It wasn't falling apart. Um, the hubs, there was no way for him to know that those rear hubs were ready to fall off. That there was no, you couldn't feel a vibration. You couldn't hear any noise. Um, and most bus owners that are, that are even guys on this channel that are watching videos right now that have a bus have probably not had their hubs off in a long time to even know if theirs are loose either. So 
Um, yeah. Yeah. There's not. He he knew that stuff needed to get done and had planned on you know airbags and that kind of stuff and yeah. it's on the schedule and he's got me out here before it's done so yeah. it all worked out. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, for one, 240. <laughs> yep. the two types of LED headlights that we currently have on our bus would you recommend for a single headlight headlamp motorcycle? I would do the ones the ones we run high and low beams on, which have um, they're uh, like a a big one on the bottom, a little one on the top, and two on the sides. We just found the pattern of that one to be really great. It it just throws like there's a point where there's light and then below that there's a bunch of light and above that there's nothing so it you, you if you aim those right then you don't blame then you don't blind oncoming drivers and so that's what that's what i would recommend all right um scott what do you think of a prevo marathon with an 892 um nice that's a great conversion company there's you know that's one of the top top of the line everything's pretty well thought out in it it's also extremely complicated and if that's if it's a d-deck engine that's in it i don't know that um it gets even more complicated but yeah no they're nice and uh just keep an eye out for coolant in the oil and make sure you got the right antifreeze in it slash coolant yeah um red stuff right? yeah somebody asked if they ship the drums by bus <laughs> That would be funny. No. <laughs> they're they're coming by truck, yep. and and Luke lied to the trucking company and, and said it was a business, right? To try and Which, save him some money. So yep. the, a guy's gonna probably show up at the house with a semi and be really mad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, Not have a way to unload them. Oh, so I'm gonna have to get up there and undo some straps probably. <laughs> right. Hopefully they'll call to schedule it instead, and yep. then you can just go pick them up at the hub or whatever. That would be awesome. Yeah, that would be better. All right, somebody's asking what our budget was for our whole house electric system on the bus. So um, we didn't How much did we spend? really have a budget, but I think we've spent about right around 12,000 on everything, including solar, um, building batteries, that. Um, building that big giant rack, um, and all the cabling, wiring, wiring we used all marine grade, um, tinned, um, wire so we spent quite a bit on wire and um, fuses a BMS system to keep it all under management um, charge controllers everything um, we're about we're about 12,000 in yep um, any luck ordering parts from local auto parts places none we didn't nobody had like so, yeah. some of them have one bearing one race right we would have been screwing around all day long on the phone trying to we just called Luke Luke we need boom and it's done Yep. You pay a little bit more, but we didn't waste all that time. It, it would have, we would have spent probably two days on the phone trying to track down all the parts. Yep. Um, why didn't we go with a DC mini split? Um, primarily because we hadn't heard much about them as far as reliability, and they cost about four times as much. And so um, we just didn't see that there would be enough value there to try to do the DC. They do run at 48 volts, and so that would have been a good... Um, application for it but we just we didn't know we didn't know enough people running them there was literally one video on the uh, on the internet about it and we just didn't we just didn't trust it so um, that's the only reason so we just went with the uh, I think our mini split was $800 um, and the the DC version I think was over 2,000 maybe close to 3,000 so that's that's the primary reason so did you see how to super chat? Oh, yep. Yeah. 11K. So for, he's giving you $2, $2. towards your electrical system. <laughs> so, it's D, beautiful. D, D, Thank G. you, D. Yeah. <laughs> That's uh, awesome. All right, Scott. Somebody says their 8V71 has lost Prime twice over the past month, once over two weeks, once overnight. Suggestion on where to start? Uh, from the fuel pump backwards. So the incoming line on the fuel pump, everything on the suction side is where air is going to get in there. If for some reason, by the way, this live feed just dies, is because you're. I'm going to go get a battery. Okay. Yep. Yeah. His, his, <laughs> he's got low battery. <laughs> um, yeah. So the filter housing, uh, the fuel line that goes to from the tank all the way up to the. Uh, primary filter and then the primary filter where that line runs to the fuel pump one of those things is sucking air usually is what the problem is all right so somebody wants to know when you're getting your lane uh we close on it in less than or two weeks about two weeks okay um 
What is the BTU of the mini split? Um, the, it's a 12,000, I think that's right, 12,000. It's a one ton unit, 12,000 BTUs of cooling and was it 18,000 of heat? I think so. so I think 18,000 of heat, but we're not, we're using diesel heaters actually for most of our heating. Um, we will use the mini split, but probably to augment the diesel heaters. They're just, they're a lot more efficient and um, we've just chosen to go that route. So we'll see how that works. They want to know if you and Tyler are buying a Sherman tank for your place in Tennessee. I would love to. I would let you. <laughs> wow. But Permission they're, they're really expensive, so we're more likely to build the Killdozer version. <laughs> so, no, this is a joke. <laughs> All right. They want to know if once you have your shop, if people can come to you for service. Yes, some, somewhat. We will have something set up to do that. Uh, it'll be through our Patreon. Um, our Patreon members will have some access to come to us. Um, but we're still going to be traveling on the road, so it's only going to be available like half the time kind of thing. Um, they want to know how many years this style of bus was made. 60 to 65 for the 4106? I believe so. And then the 4104 was 50... 54, I 54 think. 54 to 60, is yeah, that right? Yeah. I think. Yep. <laughs> so right around there. We'll pr we'll have at least two diesel heaters, um, one in the back and one in the front, and maybe a third one in the very, very front to work as a defrost. We're still playing with that option, so we'll see, but at least two. And how many do you have, Scott? I just have one right now, and then I have the propane furnace, but I'm, if, the, if I have any more problems with the propane furnace, it's out of there, and the diesel heaters go in there, because it's amazing. Okay. Yeah. Um, Filling propane is a pain in the ass. Oh, sorry. I used a bad word on nope. your channel. You're <laughs> Do I get dinged for that? Yeah. <laughs> um, is your place in Tennessee or Indiana? Are you in Tennessee or Indiana for your RV place? It'll be Tennessee. Yeah. yeah. Near near Bucksnort. <laughs> we really wanted to live in Bucksnort. But in Bucksnort. Yeah, <laughs> that's Bucks awesome. Bucksnort address. That would be hilarious. Uh, we're in Bucksnort. <laughs> in Bucksnort, yeah. <laughs> Awesome. Wow. On, on the good side of town. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> um, somebody's asking about when Lenny's going to get a turbo. Um, it, it, it's going to happen this year, probably. Yeah, I, I said a year when I rebuilt the engine last year, so sometime this year. Depending on your schedule. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it might not be hooked up, but it'll be on there. <laughs> it'll just be spent. We have, you have to have time off to do it. Yeah. I'll just get one of those fake whistle things. <laughs> oh, nice. Uh, will you have a bus test track? <laughs> sort of. <laughs> bus test track. <laughs> Going up and down the driveway. <laughs> if it doesn't make it up the driveway. That's awesome. Um, did the guy with the tank need you to just come change oil and adjust the idle? Um, and figure out what that loud clanking noise was and, yeah, just go through it. Yeah, there's... Have you talked to your neighbor about the electrical for your property? No, we have not. We're, we're going to do that face to face, and we haven't been home since then. So. <laughs> Scott wants to know what Luke's bill was. Oh man, we don't I have think, the final tally yet. I think we're at about six thousand dollars right now. Oh, so a little less. Five. Is it a little less? Yeah, I think you're probably six twice. with everything though. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. Of the oil right and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You so we're at two. around six. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Um, did you work on the Jake brake fix on his bus? Maybe on our bus, I guess? Maybe? Yeah, we yeah. don't yeah. have Jake, so. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was in yesterday's video, a little bit of it, right? Yeah. I think yeah. It, was, yeah. Yep. it was such a short video yesterday. Sorry, I didn't shoot a lot. And mm -hmm. uh, What type of shocks are we going to put on? Whatever Luke sends. Yeah, big, big <laughs> ones. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, the silver side looks like the top has been chopped. That's just how they look, I think, right? Yeah, well, that's how they are. They're super curvy and low, yeah. This person says, mention to your neighbor, you're now a tank commander. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Intimidation. <laughs> yeah, Bill Stein makes good bus shocks. Yeah. Yeah, it's whatever Luke sends. It's going to be a good quality shock, so... And since we didn't ask him how much, he's probably sent the best. So. Right, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, tell them if they want to ask any questions, so... 
Yeah, if you want to ask any questions, uh, okay. make sure they're all caps. I think we're, are we caught up? Are we? Yep. Yeah. Oh, somebody, any plans for a propane injection? Um, I would probably do bigger physical injectors before I ever did any kind of propane injection. So probably no. <laughs> Uh, will Juan be helping Scott on your batteries? I told him I, I would. He he has offered to help me on that. I, 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 I'm almost embarrassed to have him help me on it because, yeah, my, my setup is so simple compared to what he's got over here. Oh, mine's pretty simple, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, how fast have you driven Lenny? What did you say, 78? Uh, in Texas, the speed limit is 80, and I have not sped. <laughs> wow. <laughs> We want a bus grease monkey in the UK. <laughs> we want to come visit the UK. Yeah. We have before. I loved it there. Oh, somebody's asking if we've dealt with Santan Solar. Oh, yeah. We really to pick up some panels there. We totally have. Um, we would highly recommend them. We got a couple of panels just like the ones we have on our roof for about half of what we paid originally. So, um, yeah, so we, we just got some spares. Um, they were cheap enough. I think they were $185 for 435 watt panels. So we literally bought two more um, just in case these break or give us any problems. So. Is there a house on your new property? No. Not yet. Not yet. Um, is this our new bus storage? Um, that's funny. We literally just got a letter from our HOA. Um, so I don't know if it'll be storage, but this might be where we just continue to work on it. Um, well, we so haven't cleared that with any. We haven't yet. cleared that yet, so <laughs> it, that comes with some caveats. But um, yeah, we, don't we, we don't have a place right now um, to work on it yet. So, yeah, this may be it. Uh, would we add a third set of panels? I would, but my wife says... <laughs> Well, I don't know how we would. We would mount them on the side and they tilt oh, up. Oh gosh. Yeah. So. Okay. I've talked about it and she um that's going to be a if we do, it will be a last minute maybe even after we start traveling kind of thing. <laughs> okay. How many miles are on Lenny since the overhaul? Probably 20,000. Yeah, about 20,000. Are you putting solar on Lenny? He's, he's, he's got some now, but we're going to add more. Um, I, I think I think I'll probably end up with a thousand watts if I can get a thousand up there. I will. Okay. Um, Juan, what was the first bus you drove and when? Oh, it's I have a funny story about that. The first bus I ever drove um, was in California, and it was a, a test drive, and the brakes didn't work real well, and. Um, but it was it was still so fun. So I knew as soon as I drove that bus, I was like, I, I'm I'm gonna own one of these. So I I knew even that bus driving that bus, which was really rough, um, that I, I was I was gonna have a bus. All right. Do we foresee any vibration issues with our solar? Um, we've had it up there for a year. Um, is it a year? Mm -hmm. It's over. been it's yeah. been over a year now. And we have not, we've not had too many issues, none with the panels. So they've literally just make power and they're quiet and nice. And yeah, we've, we hope there isn't any, they're supposed to be um, hurricane proof and all that kind of stuff. They are a, a commercial panel. So they're a little bit higher rated for weather, but um, we, we don't foresee any issue. Okay, we probably just have a couple minutes left. And, okay, um, yeah. So. Do we know anything about uh, Northern Arizona Wind and Sun? We've heard great things about them, actually. I We called them once. We did call them a couple times, and they, they were extremely friendly. Um, and we, we would recommend them just off of what we've seen. Other people have been really satisfied with them. The place where we actually bought our inverter and charge controller and all that was um, A was A1? AM Solar. Or AM Solar, and they're in Oregon. They're a small business, and they were they were really nice. They were really great to work with, so we would recommend them as well. Um, any plans to paint Lenny? Uh, yes, uh, but I don't know when, because that's <laughs> going to take time, and I'm busy all the time driving the bus, so. But it, someday he'll get painted. Nice. <laughs>
Do you think the buses made today will last 50 or 60 years? No. Mm -hmm. No, not like these. <laughs> yeah. What's your opinion of flexible panels? I have a really poor opinion of flexible <laughs> panels just because I've, I hang around a lot of solar groups and I've, there's been a couple guys who have had success with them, but the vast majority, um, you get about two years out of them is what the average is. So um, if you get flexible panels, um, you'll probably be replacing at least one of your panels in a couple years. So I don't have a really high opinion of flexible panels. Any bus gatherings that are a must attend to convince your spouse to buy? Huh. Yes, take her to a local RV shop and look <laughs> at the new stuff that's available for RVs and then take her to any bus rally and she'll see how nice and solid everything is and she won't ever think about getting an RV again. We literally that's not a bus. Did. We literally did that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. Um, do we have a video of the install of the little AC unit we have by our batteries? Um, I can't remember. I think so. I think you do. You do. at least mention it when yeah. you put the batteries in there. Yeah. I think we do. I think we do. part of our battery install or yeah. yeah, I think part of our battery install. I think she's right. Um, Scott, is your son going to bring his silver sides to the property? I, I believe so, yes. Okay. How often do we clean the solar panels? Not very often. Um, Every time it rains. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's funny because we did a little test one time because we were curious, and it was about 11 o'clock, and it, and it was near the summer solstice, I remember, because it was like, I remember saying, hey, the summer solstice was a week ago. But anyway, we did a little test where we, it, they were pretty pretty dirty, not terribly dirty, but it's, it's Arizona, there's a lot of dust here. And so there was a lot of dust on them, and we cleaned them off, and we instantly got 500 more watts. So it's definitely <laughs> worth cleaning them, but it is kind of a pain. <laughs> All right, I think we probably need to Yeah, we gotta finish up. up. Okay. So. so yeah, thanks for joining us on here. Yeah, uh, thanks for, thanks for yeah. yeah, directing people over here. I appreciate you guys coming on. And um, if you haven't subscribed to his channel yet, make sure you do it. Yeah. So click the got, like button. We've got some stuff on there. So all our battery installs, our solar install, pretty much everything we've done on the bus is, is on there. So if you're, if you're interested in, in seeing a, a wife and, and husband convert a bus, that's what we've been doing. <laughs> all right. Thank you, everybody.